There are many people today, you are working hard. The earth is not producing for you. The moment the heavens over your head is open, the earth will begin to bring forth without struggle. Say, I hear you, sir. Why many people are not enjoying? Oh. He said, the heavens over your head shall be iron. So if my heavens are iron, Deuteronomy 28, 23, 28, 23 says, the heaven above your head shall be iron. Then automatically, the earth beneath you shall be what? Give it to me. And the heaven that is over thee shall be brass, sorry. And the earth that is under thee shall be what? So if the earth is iron, iron is too, man. Huh? Now imagine I'm working, and Bible says in Psalm 67, I believe verse number five going down. It says, and the earth shall yield thy increase. And the Lord, even our God, shall bless us. So there is a heaven above my head. And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail. Why is God making me the head? The oil comes on my head. So when God is blessing me, we say the blessings have come upon me. Jesus said, the spirit of the living God is upon me. Bible says, in Matthew, I believe chapter 3, Jesus being baptized, Bible says, and the dove from heaven came and rested upon him. So the heavens opened and the dove rested on him. So when God is blessing you, you must check the heaven above your head. Why? Because God can release the blessing on your head, but it does not land. Isaiah 55, 11. Start from verse number 10. So we can get it better. He says, For as the rain come down, and water and the snow from heaven, from where? From where? And return it not thither, but water it the earth and make it bring forth and bird, that may give seed to the sow and bread to the eater. So God opens the heaven and he sends down rain. When the rain comes, it pours, it touches the ground. The ground begins to produce. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? So upon your head, what the Lord says, it's like oil upon the head of Aaron. So when you begin to pray, God pours down blessing. It's supposed to come upon your head. So when my heavens open, God pours rain upon me. So when God gives me rain in my season, whatever I do, Monday to Monday, month to month, year to year, I'm producing fruit. Open your hands. I decree any curse in your family, any battle from your father's house that has been making your heavens to close, say scatter. Say scatter. Shout scatter. Scatter. Hey! Why many people, their jobs, their business don't succeed? It's because heaven is closed. So you're working manually. When heaven opens, you, 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 you work spiritually. Before you start, you're finished. It will give you, open to it's good treasure, the heaven. Hey! To give the rain unto the season. Meaning every day is my season. When heaven opens, hey! every time is season. How do I know? When he- oh, give me Jeremiah 17, verse number 5. Verse 7 is my point of interest. Blessed is the man that trusted in the Lord, whose hope the Lord is. Verse 8. He says, verse 8. It shall be like a tree planted by the waters that spreadeth out her roots by the river and shall not see when what comes. When what comes? When what comes? When what comes? So when my heavens are open, I don't know bad days. I don't know heat days. There are people here under the sound of my voice. I stand on the prophetic office and I prophesy. In the next 30 days from now, you will begin to see favor. What was not working will begin to work. I prophesy from today, you will not operate under closed heaven. I wish your amen was the loudest. I stand on this exalted altar and I prophesy with my eyes closed. From today, your heavens open. Hey! Are you hearing what I'm saying? Let me tell you something. Men of God have power to unlock and to close heaven. Today, you are going to fungua. Elijah came and told Ahab, say, according to my word, huh? 
the heaven shall not release rain or dew for three and a half years. A mortal man closed the heavens, took the key, put it in his pocket, and went away. And God locked the heaven. Open heaven attracts something I call favor. You become likable even if you're not beautiful. Hey. People see you and they see solution, not problem. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You go for interview, they employ you not because you're qualified. It's because your heavens are open. I speak to somebody here under the mantle and the grace upon my life. If your amen is the loudest, from today, your heavens open. I said your heavens open. I said your heavens open. In Leviticus 26 verse 19, it says your heavens shall be iron. Ah! I will break the pride of your power and I will make your heaven as iron and your earth as brass. So heaven and earth connect. Jesus said, whatever you bind on earth is bound. So whatever you need to see on earth, you must also figure it out in the heavenly realm. You know, you know there are some spiritual things that if you know, you will get answers very quick. <laughs> I wish to nifuate. Huh? I wish you hear me. How many people have business here? You have business. Even if you're selling human beings, let me say. As long as you have business, any business, lift up your hand. All you need for that business to prosper is open heaven. Now, open heaven is what announces you and attracts people to you. Are you hearing me? There were people who did not like Jesus, but majority liked him. That's why, and the multitude thronged him. Multitude followed him. Why? Jesus' heaven was always open.